Vikings cutting four more players. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lupagus. And before we get into any of this nonsense, it is Lupagus' birthday. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Hopefully, uh, comments hot and heavy. Let's wish Lupagus a happy birthday, damn it. And I wish right now I was having... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, wish right now I was having a lift bridge right now in my hand, but still pretty early, so definitely later. Uh, but remember, bridge. hash... Doesn't Hashtag matter. 7500. We did hit the mark, so we'll be drawing that Madden pretty damn soon. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll see, but there's still time to do it. So, hashtag 7500 in the comments for your chance to win Madden. Madden, yes. And be sure to subscribe. Let's get the 8,000 subs. We're not stopping at 7500. Uh, and we got four Vikings that are no longer Vikings as of now. They had to get rid of four today, they got rid of two yesterday. So, uh, they make the cut, and, and these guys are gonzo. Where do you want to start? Yeah. I think there's only one surprise, and we'll save him to the end. So let's talk about the obvious ones, the medical releases. We kind of saw this coming. We did a video last week. Mentioned Blake Prohl. The guy just was never able to get on the field this year. So I'm glad he's you know injured reserves. Like, he'll still be a Viking. Uh, I think they gave Ryan Connolly the same designation. And to me, why don't you just wave this guy and just give him some money because he's never going to be healthy. Well, uh, so if I have this, if I'm understanding this right, they're on the pup list, which means that if they can still come off any time before the preseason is over. They have to cut somebody. If they go into it in the season, they're out for at least the first four weeks, right? Well, I, I, that does sound right. I know they changed the rules than it, than it used to be, but Blake Pro, especially, a guy who has not you know, been in this offense, running Intrigue. these routes. It, well, I mean, it's, he's so far behind. I mean, practice squad, he's destined for that. Ryan Conley, a veteran who just – Ever since the Vikings brought him in, he's just never been healthy. So I don't see any point. I get it. I mean, it cuts you two guys that you can, you know, keep the rest of the guys for another week. But I don't see either one of these having an impact for the Vikings anytime soon. Yeah, I think it gives them a little bit of wiggle room. But yeah, I don't expect these guys on the team. I mean, Ryan Connolly, surprisingly, which I was surprised, he has played in 26 games for the Vikings over the last two years. Zero starts, depth move, whatever. He's a Minnesota boy. And like you said, Prol, I mean, it's the ship is almost sailing. I mean, he's 23 years old. Always was some intrigue there, but now we got some other young wide receivers that are performing. So yeah, let's go to the other two. Sean Byer, our uh, our new tight end this offseason. No surprise there, buried on the depth chart. When you got Johnny Munt ahead of you, slim to zero chance you're making the team. Well, not even Johnny Munt, but Nick News is also ahead of you. Sexy Nick ass Nick News making plays Nick. last week against the 49ers. So uh I don't know if Sean Byer even got a snap. Uh, so this was no surprise at all. Sean Byer, a late add to the team, added some depth. But, you know, that, that that hill was just too steep to climb. You yeah, I mean, so up that hill. Tight, tight end. I mean, Ben Ellison, it could have very well been just Ben Ellison, but they went with buyers. So they got some decisions to make at the tight end. I mean, it's going to come down to, you would think, uh, well, let's get real. Nick Muse and Ben Ellison are probably next. We'll see. I don't know. Ellison, he he might make this team after all. We'll see. We'll see about that. Let's talk about oh, the one guy, the, the one that surprised me, uh, the guy who was Temple Tough. This guy is Temple Tough. Temple uh, Tough. It's, it's Harrison Hand, a cornerback who uh, I thought showed promise when he was with Mike Zimmer. Maybe he just never caught the favor of this new coaching staff. Not sure what the deal is, but I like the potential I saw with Harrison Hand, but didn't see it so much this preseason. Yeah, I'm not as surprised with this one as, as you probably are. I mean, this is, I mean, looking who, this is good news for. I mean, Chris Boyd must be fairly happy today. Um, but I mean, when you look at the guys they have at depth, Harrison hand, when we drafted him, I was very excited. They're like, Oh, he could be a cornerback, maybe a safety. They're going to have a little bit of fun with them. He did get a start in his rookie year. They even had an interception. It was getting very exciting, yeah. but it, since then really has done zip. He hasn't done much at all. And do you think this is maybe something we can lead into a little bit when it comes to final cuts? Are they going to kind of scrub these guys from the Mike Zimmer regime? Uh, you know, who are lower on the depth chart, get rid of them, get that uh, that nastiness off this roster. Uh, nastiness is a little harsh, but yes, I do think they're going to give this roster a good scrubbing from top to the middle parts to bottom. I mean, same thing with guys like Blake Lynch. We're just not hearing much. We're not seeing much. I mean, Blake Lynch was undrafted, but he showed potential. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get rid of they're gonna get rid of the the guys they just do not want. And uh, unfortunately, Harrison Hand. I don't think Harrison Hand is done in this league by any. Oh means. no. No, he'll he'll uh, he'll show up somewhere. He'll resurface. 
He'll make a. He'll probably end up being the next great corner in the NFL. Freshly scrubbed, freshly scrubbed, great corner. But out of these four, yeah, he's he's probably the most surprising one. But well, I don't think we had him I, on our fifty-three last time. Well, I I think I, I would have had him coming down to final cut day. I'm surprised they cut him now. Maybe they think he can sign on with somebody else. I don't know. But uh, Harrison Hand, I thought at least would have made it till next week. Well, some other guys, I mean, I'm still – White Davis still hanging on uh, by a minuscule pube. And, I mean, guys like Miles Dorn, I mean, there's still some surprising guys that oh. I figured have been gone by now. A lot of people were talking about Sean Manning getting let go, but it makes sense to keep him for one more week. And Nick Mullins probably won't be up to speed to play this Saturday. You don't want uh, – you got Kelamon. You, you don't want Kelamon to get hurt, and all of a sudden you're forced to play Kirk Cousins or something like that during a meaningless preseason game late. So I, I can see why you keep Sean Manning one more week. Hey, I'm not convinced even that they're keeping Kellen Mond at this point. So no, they might not. But I mean, if he got hurt and he had to put Kirk Cousins on the on the field, that's the best thing. That's when you trot out Kevin O'Connell, sling some passes. But if he got hurt, player coach, player coach. There's our four. Let us know biggest surprise. Are you saddened by any of these guys going? I know we probably I, I, comments will be littered with players that should have been cut. I know that we want to see Sean it. Mannions. But I, uh, we you. also want to see the comments littered with "Happy Birthday to Lupagus" because he's the birthday boy. Give him a virtual spanking right on the right on the oh. keister. Oh. Oh, have oh, a yeah. beer. Have a beer for Lupagus. Right. And remember this while you're sipping on that birthday beer for me. Fart is one of the oldest words in the English language.